Have you ever wanted to use a real whiteboard in an online meeting? I've been in some meetings where people have turned that around, pointed it at the board, and it hasn't been a great experience up until now. With Microsoft Teams, we can now share content from our web cameras into an online meeting. And we're going to look at this uh, using a whiteboard. Um, so to begin with, I want to go over a few things that are going to give us the best experience and um, things to consider. First of all, your camera quality. You may not be able to change this because you are using a laptop and it's your integrated camera. Today you're going to see an initial pretty poor experience of an integrated camera in a Dell XPS laptop. It's using 720p which is the minimum they recommend for uh, bringing content into the meeting via a webcam. Uh, but we will show you another example of a web camera. This is a uh, C92, Logitech C922, and this could be a camera that you might place within meeting rooms where you intend to uh, allow people to use this, this feature and get the best experience. The other thing you want to consider is lighting. I've got a large window right here where the midday sun's coming through and a couple of other light sources, one and two there. And in your meeting rooms, you might have a fluorescent tube along the roof. So think about where those are and if you can switch off lights to reduce the reflection off a whiteboard um, so that it can be picked up better by the camera. The other thing to consider is distance from the board. So your laptop is best to be as close to the whiteboard as possible so it can see that whiteboard. Maybe over here you might have a boardroom that's a bit like this or a meeting room like this where you've got a display on one side and the whiteboard on the other. You want to probably put your laptop up near the head of the table and angle it so that you can see the whole whiteboard within frame. And pen color, I recommend using a black pen. Uh, you could try and use a blue pen, a red pen or a green pen, but the content camera is going to try and change the contrast and show the ink and it's going to have an easier job if you use a black pen. So I recommend using that. And lastly, you can allow Teams to control your camera settings. Uh, so this means that Teams will change the exposure based on what the camera is receiving and that may also help improve the image captured by the web camera. So let's get into it. I've got a meeting running here and you can see the integrated camera is pretty poor. It's really struggling with the change in the lighting conditions um, as the sun is changing and uh, the clouds are going past. But you can also see just a, a hot white spot that's right about there and that's because there's a lighting source just above. So I'm going to turn that one off. And already we're going to capture a better image. Let's start by sharing content. Sharing the content from the web camera is in the same place we share other content. Click on the share button, go down to content from camera. And now we have three choices. We can share a whiteboard, we can share from a document scanner, or we can share a video feed. We can change these choices once we are sharing content and get a, a better image, but this is just to get you started. Choose the one that suits you. We'll choose whiteboard. And once we get past the welcome screen, it will detect the edges on the whiteboard. You can see the green um, edges and it has now flattened the image. So based on the perspective that the laptop has, how close it is to the whiteboard, it will change and try and flatten those. It's also given me a preview of what the ink might look like on the whiteboard and how it detects it. So we'll go through that. We could scan again if it's had trouble trying to find the edges of the whiteboard. So maybe if I was covering the whiteboard then it might struggle and it's going to just time out and, and just show the whole image for the whole frame. So there we go, pretty terrible. Let's scan again, let it find the edges. And now we're back to having a, a whiteboard. And we'll share that into the meeting. Okay, so it's doing an okay job. In fact, like you can see from the camera feed uh, versus what you see on my laptop, that it's doing an okay job of detecting the edges and, and, and determining what the words are. And um, It struggles a bit with the thinner whiteboard marker that I'm using. 
and, and the blue feed. So while we're using the integrated web camera, uh, there's a couple of things we can just experiment with. Um, down at the bottom here, we've got an option to choose whether or not we want to overlay the presenter. And that's what's happening. It's detecting that ink and it's applying it as a layer so that it can go over the top of me or on the overlay. And that's good for when I'm trying to write, write words, which you can't see yet. And then when I turn back to speak to the camera, it's going to keep those words even if my arm is right there. So that's good, but it's really struggling with this using the quality of web camera in the laptop that I currently am using. So I can turn the overlay off and you can see that that's what it's working with in terms of quality. But I want to change the, the camera that I'm using to this Logitech C922. It's going to give a crisper image because it's 1080p quality and I recommend that you would get a camera for that very purpose if you're going to do this consistently in a meeting. Teachers, other people that might want to be using whiteboards all the time have a dedicated camera that's at least 1080p in quality. We'll stop sharing this and we'll go back in and choose the Logitech camera. Go back into whiteboard and up here in the top left hand corner we can choose the different cameras. I'll choose 922 and you can see already, let's just scan that again. that it's much, much sharper. So it's found the edges of the board and it's a far better quality image. We'll share that into the meeting. And definitely, definitely a much better image. So now I've got a bit more confidence that when I am uh, making a point, point one and two, that it's going to find that image and it's it's, doing a far better job of overlaying that text over the top of me. Uh, so I hope I've made my point there about the difference in quality for integrated cameras. Um, if we did want to change uh, some other options while we're using the camera, uh, maybe we want to change from whiteboard to document, what you'll find is that it's just changing the, the different um, options of whether the presenter is overlaid and uh, the detection of edges as well. So the, the video feed is just going to give a, a straight pure view of what the camera can see and not try and flatten out the image. You notice that it's turned off detect edges and it's also turned off the overlay of the presenter. So let's share that. And it's just a crisp, crisp image there of the whiteboard. But of course with no overlay of the presenter it means that if I'm facing away from the camera and writing and then I turn back then uh, you won't be able to see those words over the top of me. So it's a good feature to have the overlay for presenter and if we want to go back in and detect the edges then we can turn that on as well. And now we've effectively even though we have video chosen as the content choice, we've effectively got the same as choosing whiteboard, that it's got overlay and that it's also detected the edges. So I hope this has been useful to you to try and see it in action and some of the considerations around uh, getting the best image. I do highly recommend getting a separate dedicated web camera for this purpose um, so that you can uh, allow people to have the best experience as you point the camera at the whiteboard and start to use that. And if you'd like to see more of this content uh, as we look at the modern workplace, looking at hybrid work and uh, how we might best work together, then do subscribe uh, and give this video a like if you did found it, found it useful. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.